Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today I'm going to show you how to make a custom cursor in ActionScript 3. So we have Flash CS3 open right now, and the first thing we want to do is actually build a cursor in the library. So let's come along here and hit the insert key, and hit new symbol. And we'll call it um, my cursor. and hit OK. And we're going to actually just draw a symbol on the stage and then we're going to put that in our library and uh, uh, set a linkage property so we can pull that out as a instantiated uh, symbol. Let's come along here and do that. So I mean you can draw any type of things that you want or create some custom graphics in a program like Photoshop and bring those in. We'll just go ahead and do that right here. Put a little circle here and center it a little bit. And what we'll do is make the inner uh, dot glow. So I'll turn that into a symbol. And we'll click on that and just put a little tween on that. Right click, create tween motion. And let's put a keyframe here in the center. Insert keyframe and we'll do something like change the color so let's go to properties and uh, let's choose uh, let's click on that inner there you go go to color we'll go to advanced and we'll just change the color using the advanced settings here we go just move those around a little bit and that's good hit OK and see if now as you scroll it it's just changing colors there you go. And there you have your custom cursor. That's pretty much all there is to it. And you can get very elaborate with this, but we won't go any more from that. Uh, let's go back to scene. And that's gone, but it's actually in our library. So go window, library, and there's my cursor right there. And I'm going to go ahead and set its linkage properties by right clicking on it and go to linkage. And just click export for action script. And that name will be my cursor. And that's the first part of the game. Uh, go ahead and create your class definition and you're ready to go back to programming. So now we're in the actions layer and we need to declare a variable for that cursor. So we'll go variable and we'll just call my cursor and uh, it's going to be a movie clip. Because the cursor is a movie clip. And now that we've declared it, we're actually going to initiate it just like we would any other um, function in uh, action scripting like we do a class. So we'll go INIT, the initiation function, and semicolon. And now we're going to write that initiation function. So function, INIT, colon, void. Get your curly brackets. And then let's fill that function up. So essentially what we want to do here is replace the mouse with our custom cursor. And whenever we remove the mouse, which will be invisible, the custom cursor will follow it. In addition, we want to make sure that when we click, that we're not clicking on the custom cursor, but the graphic underneath it. So we'll have to disable the custom cursor. It sounds kind of strange, doesn't it? But let's go with the code here. So the first thing we need to do is actually uh, instantiate that custom cursor from the library. So we'll create a my cursor function and we'll say new equals new and in the library we called it my cursor okay and put a semicolon in there and let's go to the next line of code we want to add that to the stage so we'll go add child And we'll just copy and paste. I like to copy and paste variables because I have a tendency to spell things wrong. And that saves me one step of correction. Here we go. And the next thing we want to do is uh, basically uh, disable the cursor, my cursor. 
Let's go ahead and paste that. Dot enabled equals false. And what it means is it will be taking the place of the mouse, and when I click, I actually don't want to activate that graphic, but the graphic underneath it, so I need to disable that graphic. And then I want to hide my mouse. So only the cursor will show. And then I want to add a listener to the stage. So whenever I drag my mouse, the cursor, in a sense, gets placed where the mouse is supposed to be. And so we'll just go ahead, stage, dot add listener, or event listener. And that's going to be a mouse move event. So the mouse event will be a mouse move. Let's grab that from our list here. Cool. And the function, let's just call it drag my cursor. And now we're done with our initiation function. And what it says is whenever my cursor is dragged, we need to actually move it to the XY position of the mouse. And so we have to create a function to do that, and that is the drag my cursor function. So a function would be, and let's go ahead and copy and paste that. Drag my cursor. It is a mouse event. So we'll go event colon mouse event. Choose that from the list. Close that up. Semicolon void curly brackets. And let's fill that up now. So we want the my cursor dot x value to equal to this dot mouse x. And let's go and copy this and do it for the y variable. My cursor y equals this dot mouse y. So you're done. And when you run this function, what will happen is the uh, my cursor variable is declared. It's, the function is initiated, which uh, instantiates the cursor from the library. Let's go take a look at our library. And see, that's my cursor. If we look at the linkage, we see the name is my cursor. That's good. And then it adds that cursor to the stage. It disables it. It hides the mouse. And it adds the listener, which places the cursor wherever the XY position of the mouse should be. Let's run this and see if it works. And we see there's an error, and there's always an error when it comes to flash. And there's an error here in drag my cursor mouse event. Let's take a look at that and see what's wrong with that. And I can see I've actually made a mistake here in typing. That's a mouse event. There we go. Let's save that. and run it. Control test moving. And there's your custom cursor moving wherever your mouse was and it's a nice glowing black blue ball. So, you know, very simple program but you'll be using this in more advanced gaming code and it will actually show you how to do this in 3D using the 3D mouse in paper vision. So, well just a nice code snippet here. I hope you find it useful. This was Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University.